Greetings. Welcome to Diana's channel. Uh, a couple questions have been asked just for clarification, re-residency. And so I'm going to uh, clarify that for you or uh, to be a little bit more specific on a particular matter. But today you can join me as I head to the National Museum of Ghana and that's in the city Accra and I'm going to uh, you know become enlightened and, and through my eyes view some history and culture at the museum so I um, will show you some footage on that I can say the National Museum of Ghana was born in 1950 Seven, and it houses contemporary paintings by Ghanaian artists, cultural objects and artifacts. So it, it should be interesting and um, again I'll show you as much as I'm able to. And also there will be an admission fee and I'll know exactly how much that is when I arrive there. On the topic of residency, there are, two, there, there are a few parts, and, and one of the parts to re residency would be if you're married to a uh, Ghanaian, and again, uh, if you have a family member with a mother, father, who was Ghanaian birth. The other two, the, other, the others are the other two. I used, uh, I will say this is a third option, which I was able to obtain two bond holders. And again, I touched on that when I put out the vlog, I got it, residency. Now someone will say, uh, Diane, read the bond, that's gonna be very challenging, heading into Ghana to explore, but really want to, you know, remain here. So expand a little bit on the other option. That's property. And property is either land or, you know, a house or apartment, a dwelling, yes? So that is classified as property. So what I would recommend to you is once you head into Ghana, um, if that's your end game, then you will have to explore and look for land for sale, right? Whatever time they give you, in your passport and again I can't say you're gonna get you know three months or four or five or six months because again my personal experience I only got 30 days so you really know how long you're going to be in Ghana once you get in front of immigration and you see what they give you based on that then you're going to decide what you're going to do it's land or property once you're able to obtain that, that is a path that you can use to apply for residency. So you basically will be sponsoring yourself and, and, and your family. You know, if you're not solo, then that is basically it. Again, land or a dwelling. That is the path. And again, I will reiterate you would like to use or follow the steps I did in terms of my connect, it is Sister Ya. So if you are interested in my facilitation, that is, that is what my facilitation is when it comes on to residency, I will guide you to Sister Ya and she will um, provide you all the other details and guide you accordingly. But what I do know and what I can say is as a foreigner coming in, yes, if you're not able, if you don't meet those other requirements, i.e. marriage, you know, family member, and you're not able to obtain two bondholders, again, who are Ghanaian citizens, then, you know, it's doable, yes, you can purchase land and a dwelling. And it does not matter the value of your land or the dwelling, as long as that is an investment that you 
have made in Ghana and that is sufficient for you to be able to file for yourself, to sponsor yourself, okay? So I hope that's very clear. But then, sister, yeah, I, I, I went to guide you through, okay? Um, because she's an amazing person and she, she knows her craft and that's one of them. So I hope that's very clear, right? So you say, wait a minute, Dan, so how am I going to find property land? Come on now, come on now. You're not serious about going to Ghana. Come on, man. That, that, that is not really a difficult task to do. What I can say is that there is an abundance of land and property here. And um, it's doable. The only thing that you will have to factor in is your timing. Yes? But again, have no fear on that exploratory trip if your time is up based on the, the length of time that immigration gave you you can extend your stay in Ghana right and it's a it's a small fee immigration fee that you pay to extend so I am saying to you if within one month you have not found land or property extend 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 but if you're serious i know you will find somewhere well, i will say at least within six months and you'll be on your way for some people who seriously do it boots on the ground they'll get it in less you know half of that time you know i can't say anywhere between three to four months so it's all doable you know have no fear have no concerns uh, about that uh, bondholders can be a bit tricky but again, as I said, that other path in buying land or, you know, a property uh, is very doable. So uh, stay tuned as I head to the National Museum of Ghana. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward because I really want to see what they have in there. And uh, I will share that to you. Start of the week. Do have a productive week. Please share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Medasi. Thank you. God bless.